Hi, Christine Faulkner, estate planning attorney with Kava and Faulkner, Sacramento and Elk Grove's Living Trust lawyer. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Christine's Family Well Secrets. And today I wanted to talk about seven ways that you can feel in more control because our article today is mostly about control and exerting control over your life to create a plan to care for the people that you love. And so I thought talking about the importance of control would be the great subject of a video. So right now, for sure, it seems like even before COVID, our lives were completely accelerated because of the invention of the internet, right? We've been dealing with this now coming on um, 20 years or a little bit longer than 20 years. It seems like we got our first computer at the end of the 90s. And so much has happened to make life seem like it is going by so fast and it's become overwhelming for many people, including me. Uh, you may feel that you are overwhelmed much of the time. Um, you've got too much going on and you struggle to make choices and you definitely feel stuck in a rut, stuck in the information overwhelm. So I wanted to bring you seven ideas on how you can feel more in control of your life. So part of that comes with creating more agency, um, choosing to take a more powerful path. So number one, control the stimuli coming into your world. In other words, control all of the information coming into your mind. And studies have shown that working or doing anything with your phone around is a detriment to your, uh, to your ability to focus. So it's definitely an attention hijack to be multitasking and working with your phone um, unless your phone is set on silent and you are not getting any notifications and there are no distractions. But here's a recommendation. Move your phone away from your workspace for a period of time, even if you have to check it every hour, great, but move it out of your work area. You will likely feel less stressed. You won't have as much information coming at you. And uh, the this will physically restore you. You will feel better and you will feel less overwhelmed. Associate selectively. So stay away from the negative and be drawn to the positive. That includes, of course, people in your life. So if you have negative folks that are part of your life, disentangle yourself from those people to the greatest extent possible and choose a positive environment for yourself. Um, choose the kind of uh, environment you thrive in. My office has been a mess. It's, it's um, a, you know, kind of a joke about lawyers. Uh, being working in messy offices with all sorts of paper, but I think you have to decide for yourself if that is a distraction for you, then make it an intentional choice to clean your work area, clean the area where you're living, and uh, be in put yourself into this positive environment. Move, get up and move. Uh, that means change your state in the vernacular of Tony Robbins. Change your state. Studies have shown that exercise uh, leads to a greater sense of control and sitting around or sitting all day has the exact opposite effect. So put a timer in your phone. I just learned this from a coach I'm working with. Put a timer in your phone that's recurrent every day to get up at the same time every day and shake it out, move around, dance, do something that makes you feel good or take a five minute walk to change your state. You will feel happier. You will feel uh, healthier. You can get out and get some fresh air and breathe and change your the physicality. Um, it will change your outlook on life. Be a learner. So learning expands your capacity for understanding. Practice a growth mindset, and this will help with fear of failure and judgment, and 
Be more aware of when you are harshly judging yourself or in your state of fear. Be aware when you enter that state and it gives you the ability to be kinder to yourself and more accepting of the fact that you are learning, you are growing, and that will help you to have a more positive mindset and frankly feel better during the day. Learn to manage your emotions and your beliefs. So we all have fears and anxieties and worries which impacts our energy level. And we clearly feel overwhelmed during this time, especially COVID. Uh, we're coping with our situation in our community, figuring out how we're going to work, make a living and cope with our families, some of whom are being um, social distance uh, or remote learning. Um, so there is a lot of overwhelm that people experience right now. Don't automatically accept the negative emotions that come into your head. Challenge your belief system about yourself and you will feel a greater sense of self-control. Wouldn't that be great? Use your intuition. I'm a big believer in going with my gut and strategic intuition, which is something that I've been working on, which is deciding to stop thinking and ruminating about a particular subject that is vexing and worrisome. You'll likely find that if you do this, if you consciously choose to let it go, at least for a while, you'll be freed up to spend your energy on other things that make you feel good, that make you feel empowered, and likely the solution will come to you when you least expect it. Finally, deliberate, deliberate and then act. Obsessing over details, procrastination, um, having excessive worry, if that's something that you experience regularly, take a different approach. Um, important decisions do require deliberation. So maybe make a list of the pros and cons, understand what your objective is, and give some deep thought to the best act or the best approach that you can take to solve this problem. Of course, you need to define your objective as well. And after you create a plan or have an objective and you feel like you've done the necessary research, you don't have to be 100%. You don't have to know all of the answers. That's what keeps us stuck is feeling like we have to know it all. Getting 80% there is good enough. It puts you in a position to then take affirmative action to effectuate your plan. So having more agency means more responsibility for your life, less overwhelm, less anxiety, and less worry. And having a plan um, where you know the outcome of what's going to happen in, in the future is so important in so many ways across the board in all of our lives, especially right now. So check out our article today. It is about control and the importance of exerting control in many aspects of your life. I hope you enjoy it. If you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, subscribe to our channel, click the logo in the video, and you can subscribe and get notified when we put out new content. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on another edition of Christine's Family Wealth Secrets. Take care.